OBS Studio is up to 20.0.1 and in this session we're going to look at about two or three of the changes. Now the first thing we're going to look at is this one here which is about um, a modular user interface and this thing called Docs. So let's just have a quick look at it um, and that is that if you go up to um, View Docs it says lock UI. Before I unlock it and move it about, see where it says scenes down here on the bottom left? Down here, look. Docs. I don't want to see scenes. Uncheck it. You see it's disappeared. So I can go through and I can change what I do and do not want and things change with it. Now, all, all is not lost because what we can do if we get stuck um, is to go back and we reset the UI so that's done. Now if we want to look at the unlocking of the UI click it then what you'll find is that there's a pop-out and what we can do now is start dragging things around and once again you may have a need or oh that's interesting look it goes at the top it did didn't it look I can shove these at the top so I can totally customize always a good thing but then you end up getting a little bit lost oh dear look what I'm doing and so we can carry on like that. So if you don't want them, click them away. If you want them all to be set um, as they were, reset. Okay, that was that part done. Next part, we're going to have a look. Now, I'm going to be open and honest, adding stinger transitions. I've had a go at that, and it's not working for me at the moment, so I'll leave it out. Don't want to do that one, don't want to do that one. Uh, the one that I want to have a look at is the... Uh, goodness me, I can't read. It's not that one. Sorry. Um, change visibility. No, that's not it. Added the one I want. Here it is. This is it. This is the one. It's added a new Arachne theme. Okay, a new Arachne theme. The last video I made about um, looking at themes was useful to some people because at the moment you can see it's a default theme and it is light. So what we do is we go to settings. Very, very easy this one. You go to settings and it says general theme default. Drop it down. The one that we had before and for a long time is this one called dark. And I'm just going to bring that down and just give you a couple of seconds to look at it. You can see it's all dark and the buttons over here are grey. Okay, so watch this change. We go this time to the new Rackney. Click it and you'll notice if I just uh, try and pull this down and do an OK that we have got a brand new dark theme but it's got some blue on it and it's called Rackney and it looks like that. It's quite quite nice isn't it? Because what you, let me just shout a second up, watch this um, mic down here and you can see it keeps changing colour. One, two, three, four, that's really hot. Can you see that? Sorry about that. What I'm getting at is the mic here is a pinky colour and then if I get to hot it goes to red so let's just change that back because I want to finish this video here and leave it there with just a couple of new updates from the list I'm going to go back to default and for me I have to drag this down just a tiny amount and click OK what I suggest you do is have a read through full screen is quite nice but again it's just a, a button to click and you're on full screen and I think it's F11 to come off again and there's a few other fiddly bits what I suggest you do is bookmark this link which is the github sorry say it again github.com jp9000 obs studio forward slash releases I'll put that in the YouTube description and there we go I think um, OBS Studio is shaping up to do a lot of nice things. If you're wondering what's on screen, it's my Zoom H1 and Moto G4 because I've been blogging about um, recording audio and comparing the two.